When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Judeans, Jesus came and stood among them, and he said, Peace be with you. Then he showed them his hands and his side, and the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Again he said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them, and he said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now, <clears throat> Thomas, who's called the twin, he was one of the twelve. He was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the disciples said to him, we've seen the Lord. <laughs> but Thomas said, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> unless I can see the marks, of, no, unless I can put my finger into the marks of the nails and reach my hand out and put it in his side, I will not believe. One week later, the disciples were together again in the house and Thomas was with them. And even though the doors were locked, Jesus came and he stood among them and he said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hand. Reach out your hand, put it in my side. Thomas said, my Lord and my God, Jesus said, so you believe because you've seen. How blessed are those who have not seen but have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book. But these were written so that you may come to believe that he is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name.